giving what it needs to give but the girls okay period there's pen black girls in my area cold dark skin light skin medium tones permitting braids got many afro and he said there's pen black girls in the area cold these black girls need to be in the shows be on the runways not just move boards my hair looks a bit different today so don't touch my hair like new hair who this old black welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by today's video and this look we're going to be doing a glueless wig install step by step it's extremely easy low maintenance and i'm pretty sure i know for a fact that you can do it so also i want to give a big shout out to love me hair for sponsoring this today's video and we're going to get straight into it So here I'm just going in with my ruby kisses and the darkest shade I believe is level 3. So that's the shade that I'm using and I use the darker side of that palette. And I'm just going to put it all over. I'm just using a regular foundation brush and I'm also applying that same product onto my cap as well. Okay, so after you do the prep we are about to brush our hair back and I'm not um, usually with most of my um, wig installs most of my wig installs I do a braid down but we are just going to push it all back to the back of our head and just do a small bun. So, stick it back. It doesn't have to be perfect, clearly, like, I don't have any gel or anything on my hair. So, we're just slicking this back. 
and then I'm putting it in a low, low bun. Not a ponytail, a bun. We're gonna take our cap, which I've already put makeup on it. Also, let me just show you the wig prep that we, you guys already seen just previously. I didn't style it, usually suggest that you guys style the wig. Um, well, it's kind of actually, it is pretty styled um, already. So we plugged the hair on the mannequin. You wanna make sure you plug it, apply some makeup inside the lace so it can blend effortlessly. And then you wanna make sure you adjust the strap. That's what's gonna really make it glueless. So I'm just going to adjust my straps right now. And if you have to keep taking that off your head to see like how tight or how loose you want it, you can do that as well. Wig cap on. That's not even in the center. So like I said, I already applied makeup on it. So we're just gonna put it like right here. I said before if you want a more flatter base um do braids under your wig but this is for the girls that don't know how to do french braids on their own hair and still want that glueless look so we're making everything very low maintenance um here's the wig right here and typically you can cut the lace off while it's on your head or you can cut it off while it's on your head so what i like to do is cut these dark parts right here of the lace on the each end. I like to cut those off first. That's how it should look with the sides taken off. Can you see that? Okay, so we're just gonna test this out and see how it fits on our head. Okay, okay so for my style, sorry if I'm looking off to right here because my mirror is right here, but I think I'm gonna do a middle part. I was thinking the side, they both are really giving. But I'm gonna think I'm just gonna go with the middle part and then eventually I'm gonna switch over to the side part. Um, so like I stated before, you wanna make sure you style your um, wig when it's off um, of your head, it's the easiest. If you don't have a mannequin head, I suggest you get a mannequin head and invest in one. They are on my Amazon, my Amazon store storefront, if I can talk. Um, that will be linked down below um, where to get a mannequin head. Um, you'll probably need to know what size. That will be very helpful. I typically use a 21 inch for myself. 22 inch is um, average, 21 is considered small, and 23 is considered a large head. So I would suggest um, just, you know, investing in that and i want this to look very natural so i'm not putting i'm not gonna put too much product on it or do too too much um so you want to take a razor i prefer a razor you can take scissors but i prefer a razor and i'm going to get very close to i'm going to just cut right here just to make it very easy for you guys so this is like i said beginner friendly extremely easy and as you can see it already low key look like it's melted so you want to just take your um razor you want to be very careful you can go as slow as possible and just go in an up and down motion that's it up and down up and down and you want to get as close to the hairline as possible see that now you want to um, take your time, be careful. It is a razor, um, but again, it's super easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in with my makeup and I'm gonna do the lighter shade and I'm just gonna put a little bit on this brush here and I'm going to define my parting space. So just go right in here and I mainly focus on where um, the hair meets the cap, if that makes sense. So here I can kind of see like my cap is right here. So I just want to go in, just define um, parting space. 
Facebook to so the next step, next step I did, all I took is a little bit of spritz, put it at the end of my rag tail comb, already sprayed it. And then I'm just going to dab it on top of the lace. So I'm just gonna, let me show you, even though I already did it. I'm just putting a little bit. And then I'm just going to take my elastic band it's from D Styles Co. I'll link these down below. These are literally heaven scent. And will make any wig, glueless wig or non-glueless wig, um, melt. So we're not using any adhesive, any glue, or anything for this install. Everything is completely glueless. This is just to mold that wig to your head shape. So whether you have product on your wig or not, you want to make sure you still have an elastic band just to mold the lace. Because you know the lace comes pretty much straight. So you want whatever head shape you have, you have to have an elastic band to mold it. So I'm just taking my hot comb really quickly and I'm just going on top. Now you can add for a more sleek look, you can look at my other videos. I have more in depth on if you want like a really sleek look, but I want a little bit like more of a natural look um, today. So I'm only gonna add like just a little bit of water to my hair and I want it lifted like that. So I'm just gonna go in, lightly spray. My uh, light just turned off. So I literally just sprayed it once. That's how I want it to look. I don't want it to look drenched. I still want it to have its full natural look. And mind you guys, I did um, wash this wig previously because I did have to bleach the knots. And um, also the wig does come pre-plucked, which is also a good thing, but I like mine's extra plucked. So I recommend doing everything off of camera. So this is how the hair looks. Lots and lots of body, y'all. Like, I freaking love this wig. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks without the elastic band. So, um, I've gotten dressed already. And this is the final look. So, this is how we're looking. And like I said, I think I'm going to um, do a side part one of these days. But I'm definitely feeling the middle right now. Um, so, yeah. I will leave all of the information down below if you guys want to check out this exact unit. All of that will be down in the description box below. So make sure you guys check out Love Me um, website. That will also be down below in the description bar. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!